Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Billy C and in today's video, we're just gonna show you the positive EV tool here at Odds Jam. We're gonna hit a couple bets, show you how I bet. So without further ado, let's get into it, all right? So here we are on the positive EV tool, okay? Go under tools at Odds Jam, go under positive EV, all right? So we're just gonna hit the refresh button real quick and see what's going on out there, all right? Just to kind of give you a little bit of an idea, basically for me, um, my one unit, my betting strategy is $200, okay? So if we see anything out there that is minus 110, minus 120, minus 140, et cetera, that's a whole unit, okay? So we'll put $200, all right? But anything that's less than that, maybe plus 100, plus 110, plus 115, I'll adjust my unit size and won't put a full unit on, okay? Uh, if you wanna follow me on Twitter or have some questions, uh, leave a comment here in the video. As you see my handle there, Yo Mama 2431 happy to help you guys out with any questions you have or you want to talk about a betting strategy. But this is just what I do, okay? So you see here we're on the positive EV tool. Uh, right away, we got Jabari Smith under 14 and a half points here on Superbook. It's a book out here in Arizona. Um, as you can see, the odds may have changed. We'll take a look at it. Um, some of these plays, you have to be very quick. Others, you have a couple minutes, you know, five, 10 minutes or so, but Great lines don't last forever, guys. So that's why I have all these tabs pulled up up top. You got to be ready to go. So Jabari Smith, uh, plus 110. You can see everybody else has this. I mean, Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book out there, minus 127. DraftKings and FanDuel, two other books that I consider uh, very sharp books at minus 110. And you can get a plus 110 on Superbook. So player points, Jabari Smith will go to the Warriors game here on Superbook. I'm already into it, actually. Um, and under what 14 and a half points, like we said, plus 110. Boom. Now, the max I can bet with Superbooks is $100. They'll reject me if I do anything else. And I'm probably going to have to log back off and log back in because I timed out. And that happens sometimes. So, what we'll do is we'll just log out and we'll try to log back in and hopefully, you know, we can still get this bet. But you, it's the most annoying thing when you have a lot of different sports books. Um, and then also, also the location, but you need, you need to know how to navigate this. All right. So we're going to go over to Warriors game. We're going to go to player props and then Jabari Smith. And where's he at right here? And see, it already changed. So as you can see, this technically still has plus EV. And here's a great example why. Okay. So it's better at plus 110. Okay. But the no big fair odds for this bet is minus 102. So if you can get any kind of odds better than minus 102, it still has plus EV. Now, the reason it has 6.2% plus EV is because plus 110 is a lot further away than minus 102. But plus 100 still beats 102, minus 102. So we're still going to lock this in for 100 bucks. Okay. And there you go. So we locked it in. Uh, it's on my active bets now. I have some other active bets, but you can see right here. All right. So we're going to then throw this into the free bet tracker. I advise everyone to do this. Okay. We're going to jump this price down to, to 100 because that's our odds. And then we're just going to throw it in at 100. Okay. And then if we go back to my bet tracker, this will automatically update here. We'll refresh the page. And then you'll see these are just bets that I have, other bets that I have in for today. But Jabari Smith right here. Okay, now the CLV is at minus 110, but, you know, the game hasn't tipped off yet. So this, this will obviously change. The only other thing that I do for myself personally, this is my own spreadsheet that I keep my straight bets. I keep track of. I, I'm a numbers guy. I just like to do it this way. So um, for today, you see the 20th, I have, no, that's my 23rd bet. I have each individual bet up here at the top, as you can see. So I'll just have plus 100 to the list. Um, quick thing that I'll show you about this, um, again, I give you guys some confidence. If you're new to this tool, if you're not really sure, this is, this page is specifically only for positive EV betting. Um, I've, I have three bets so far that I've, that have finished today. I've won two, lost one, but as you can see, um, you know, these are my amount of bets, my plays per day. You know, this isn't just two or three bets a day, guys, other than the 12th, which I kind of took a day off. I had some bets already placed in from a few days before. Uh, but, you know, uh, here's what I'm betting per for the day today. Um, here's what I've returned so far. Um, and then this nets it out, my P&L. But to kind of, and then this is my average bet size. But to really give you an example here, um, this, this column J is just to show you the percentage that I got back of my state amount, right? So you can see here on the 17th on St. Patty's Day, 
we had a losing day. I bet $6,100. I still brought back 92% of that $6,100. Okay. So it's possible for me to lose every single one of my bets. But when you're coupled with the positive EV tool and using the sharpest sports book out there in Pinnacle, my worst day this month was 68%, meaning that I bet almost five grand and I still brought back 68% of the amount that I gambled. Okay. That's how I'm still, that's how I'm able to bet $87,000 through 20 days of the month. Okay. Cause I'm not losing 95% of my, my staked amount that day. Right. I'm not. Okay. And then obviously anything in black is a green day and I, and I returned made returns. Okay. So this is important to note. My worst day this year was on January 25th. I only brought back roughly 62% of my staked them out. Okay. But this is to show you that, you know, if you use odds, Jim, you use the positive EV tool, man, you, you, you're really, it's like playing with Michael Jordan, man. Like you got the best player on your team. It's going to be really hard to lose over the long term. Okay. So let's get back into the tool. All right. So um, I can place this bet with hard rock. I don't like to place anything really above plus plus one thirty five. Also with Hard Rock and Valley Bet out here in Arizona, they don't have a desktop version, so I have to do it on my mobile phone. And I'd rather just be transparent with you guys um, and so you can see me actually place the bet. MGM, I'll place this Josh Hart bet, but I'll be lucky if I can make $6 bet on this. I, I would be surprised. Um, so let's take a look at this. MGM, this is what, Timberwolves Knicks. As you can see, when we open this up, the fair odds are plus 106. We're getting it at plus 115. Um, Pinnacle said the odds might have changed. So let's hit a quick refresh. This happens quite a bit. You have to be quick. It can be it can be frustrating, but that's just the way it goes. Same with Beth Fred. Um, I'll lock this in on my phone, but I can't. They don't have a desktop version, so we'll check out Steph under four and a half made threes on Caesars. And with all these different sports books, guys, it's really important that you understand how to navigate these books. Okay, obviously my internet's just slow, so that's why it's taking a minute, but. You want to know how to get to where you need to go. So they'll go back to the Warriors game here. And I don't really worry too much if I bet the over on the Warriors game, but I have Steph maybe under on threes. Like, I don't think too much into it, okay, guys? It's a positive EV bet. Let's make it. So under four and a half plus 118. For this, I would like – I got to log in again so I can't can't place the bet right away. Um, and typically plus 118 odds – I'm going to place this bet at, let's say, 150, okay? But I can't do it until they verify my location, so I got to refresh. So we'll wait, but probably plus 150. Caesars is the one sports book that doesn't give me a hard time. And as you can see, we already missed that bet there. It already changed, okay? And some of you guys would say, well, it's still minus 101. Like, you know, what's so wrong with that? Well, first off, it doesn't beat the no big fair odds. Okay, minus 101 now. Um, we could get this. We Caesar still offers. We could get this at plus 108 on FanDuel. And it's like if you go to a car dealership and you want to buy a Jeep Wrangler and, this, and the salesman's like, well, we can get this car to you for 20 grand. We'll sell it to you. And you're like, okay. And he's like, well, let me go in the back and make sure that we have it. And he comes back five minutes later and he's like, ah, we have it, but it's actually now $25,000. And you're like, well, wait a minute. Like, I'm not going to pay $5,000 more for the same vehicle just because five minutes passed. So that's what happens here. Okay. I'm not going to bet this at minus 101. We're going to move on. We're going to find something else. So I'll show you guys here. We'll, we'll hit Curry here uh, over 28 and a half on Superbook for minus 110. We'll go back to it. We'll go to our bet slip. Curry over 28 and a half. We'll put 110 down. They'll let me put 110 and make 100. So there we go. We lock that in. And I'll just put the 110 in here. I don't pay attention to the recommended bet size. I don't pay attention to the EV percent. I don't pay attention to the market width. Okay. Um, I only pay attention to the no VIG fair odds because as long as I'm getting better odds than no VIG fair odds, that's all that I'm concerned with, really. All right. Um, you know, I'll, we can scroll down. There's a lot of plays right now, but even the smallest plays, um, you know, Bulls plus seven and a half, obviously because the Novik fair odds is plus 108 and you're getting that plus 110. That's why the EV percentage is 0.95%. 
it's a smaller width. But, um, you know, there's a lot of good plays out here. So we'll take a look at Bovada. I'll show you. I'll, I'll hit this .98 if it's available. Jason Zucker, my hometown Pittsburgh Penguins. So we're going to go on Bovada here. Uh, Bovada has a nice tool up here, this little search box. Type in Penguins. If it allows me. If not, we'll just go to hockey then. And yeah, so it's been too long. I got to log back in. So that's why it's giving me a hard time. And as you can see up here, I have, I don't know, roughly seven to nine different sports books pulled up. So, you know, in an ideal world, you have them all pulled up. You're logged into all of them. So you don't have to deal with this. But, um, you know, this is just part of it. And, you know, this this time here can it can be used. So here we got the penguins. And then a, a port feature, especially if you're doing this on your laptop. So we got to go over to player props. And then I'm just going to type in his last name, Jason Zucker. I'll just keep it and enter until we get down to his shot totals, which is right here. So under two and a half, I like to double check plus 120, plus 120. Um, and then we'll go here. And recently I got a limit, limit email from Bavada to find out. So I'll find out what the max I can bet, which is 300. So I'll put 150 on this. And there we go. We locked it in at plus 150. So, I mean, to me, they're all positive EV bets. Yes, you'd like to make the ones with the larger percentage, but I'll I'll make any bet out there. It's, it's, it's all it, – it doesn't really matter to me because they're all good bets on this page, okay? And I've shown this before on – um, mine, but right here, my EV breakdown, I, I, I track every percentage of my bets and, and what I make. And as you can see, you know, if I've made 9,600 since October 31st and the one to one and a half, 1.49% makes up 8,700 of that. Okay. So uh, an overwhelmingly large percentage of my profits that I've made, granted, I've placed the most bets there, but is from the one to 1.49% range. OK, and I, if I see a bet that's in that two to two point four nine, I'm not going to avoid it. Right. It's just. You know, we talked about flipping the coin with positive EV and you're getting paid a dollar fifty every time you bet a bet dollar on heads. You're going to get paid a dollar fifty. If you bet tails and you bet a dollar, you're only going to get paid a dollar. Well, right now, tails is coming up more than heads right now on this particular percentage. But the more that I bets that I place, the more that this will correct the ship for me. And this won't be minus two thousand anymore. It'll get it will become a black number. OK, so that's just kind of to give you we'll try to hit one more here to show you guys. Um, see what we have out here. So, OK, here the wind bet here, Draymond um, under seven and a half boards at minus one ten on wind bet uh, for any Arizona betters out there. Anyone that has wind bet and Caesars, they are the best in terms of not limiting you. Um all the other books I'm basically limited on to a certain extent, but not uh, on win bet. Like when it comes to player prop bets, win bet and Caesars, you're able to get a decent amount down. So we're on here again and a lot going on in this Rockets game, a lot of, a lot of plays. So we're going to player props and we're going to look for rebounds and Draymond. And as you can see, perfect example, as soon as we go to it, it grays out, which means it's locked. When Bet realizes this is too, their their lines aren't good anymore. They need a, a realign and reset with the rest of the market. So that opportunity is gone, right? And you keep it moving, okay? So if we go all the way back to the top, uh, the last one that we'll see we can lock in for today. Um, again, the only reason I'm avoiding some of these barstool bets is because I am severely limited on barstool and Bet Rivers. Um, let's see what else we can grab here. But we can show you. I mean, I would I would bet this Bulls spread plus seven and a half. So we'll go over to Bet Rivers. Bulls plus seven at plus one eighteen. Another cool thing about AGM, you can see this little line here. We already have some bets on this game. So if you click here, it's the best part about this tool that they've added. It's really cool. I just have bet the under so far, but you know, I wouldn't make this bet if I had bet the Sixers, right? So we'll go over to Bet Rivers.
and then we'll go over to uh, the bulls. All right, so we're looking for bulls at plus seven, at plus 118. Normally I'd put like 125 to $140 on this bet. So um, here we go, plus 118. I'll try to put 125 on this. They won't let me bet that full amount. No, $22.50. So we lock it in for $22.50. Um, books like Bet Rivers and Barstool, once they figure out that you become profitable and you're a smart gambler, they don't take your action. They're afraid of you. So they let me bet this, but $22.50. But still, it's a bet nonetheless. So we throw it in here, 1.1%. And there it is. So, guys, that's the video for today. Just hitting some bets. We'll go along. Uh, down the road and we'll play some more bets in the coming days. But just wanted to show you the power of this positive EV tool and what it can do for you. And then the bet tracker is incredible. Highly recommend any bets that you're placing. This is a free tool on odds jam. Okay. You don't have to sign up or pay them any money to use this bet tracker just to plug in your email address. And then all your bets are right here. And they will tell you if you beat the CLV, okay. The closing line value. All right. So, that's the video for today, guys. My name is Billy C. Appreciate you stopping by. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can find out when I'm dropping more videos. But uh, until next time, guys, take it easy.